Um, just want to do a final thank you to all the sponsors. Thanks to everybody who went and spoke with them out there and learned more about their services and offerings. Um, namely, you know, uh, the conference really wouldn't be possible without DigiCert and Alert Logic and Adobe, as well as Pope Tech, Deep Watch, and Stage Two. No Starch uh, donated a bunch of books that we're going to raffle off at the end if the participants are still here. Uh, appreciate SaintCon support through all, a lot of like the soldering irons and AV equipment. Um, Arctic Wolf and Splunk and Critical Start, as well as Paramify, Health Equity, and Snowfensive. Um, can we just do a real quick round of applause for these? Okay, great. Okay, so welcome to closing ceremonies. Um, I'm Bryce Coons, my handle is Fox, and you can hit me up on the B-Side Slack if you have any questions or you want to talk more about um, B-Sides for next year. Uh, just as an FYI, B-Sides next year is going to be in the middle of April, um, so we're kind of moving it to the spring. Uh, we got a little off schedule with the COVID, um, so we're trying to get it back in the spring again. So, so we're going to open up the CFP in January um, and all that. So, OK, uh, just to reiterate, you know, the, the point of the conference is to help build connections and uh, you know, help us to come together by having you know, meaningful conversations. As we build those connections, that helps the community grow, that helps us be able to know one another and be able to lift one another up. You know, the side effect of that is we can kind of help each other out with our careers, either getting into cybersecurity or leveling up wherever we're at in our kind of um, point in our journey of career map. Uh, I do want to take a, uh, a few minutes to We'll, we'll do the contest at the end, uh, but I do want to just take a few minutes to talk about uh, a couple things. Uh, namely, there is a um, 801 party. They're going to have some pizza and soda is what I understand tonight. So, uh, you know, please, if you're looking for something to do tonight, head on down to the downtown Salt Lake and um, hang out with the 801 crew. Um, the Mike and others are, are really great. So. Um, just want to thank Delane for getting some of the speaker swag together, these blankets. If you were a speaker and you haven't got a blanket yet, please go to the reg and get yourself a blanket. Want to th thank Waylon. Waylon and Paul have put in a ton of hours on this badge and uh, one of the most innovative designs I've seen yet. Um, you know, you can break the components off and still function as well as it kind of functions as a, as a pie uh, post post conference. So so really thank Waylon and Paul for all they did there. Also want to thank the organizers, all they did, appreciate that, as well as the board members. If you're interested in learning more about the nonprofit, uh, we're doing a public board meeting at 6 o'clock. You're welcome to stick around. You don't have to, but uh, um, we'll be taking care of some administrative functions then. Okay. All right, we'll go to the contest, so. All right, so the first contest is gonna be for the sponsor raffle. So um, I'm just gonna mix up the cards here and then pick one at random. And if you are here, um, please come to the front and collect your prize, um, so. I don't know, maybe somebody else should mix these. All right, picking one at random. All right, got Catherine uh, Boy. Uh, is that not the right way to say it? Sorry if I didn't say it right. Okay, we got the CTF. Um, I know there's a little bit of uh, uh, confusion on the CTF, whether teams qualify or not. Um, so, um, Can I just come do it? yeah, Chandler, we do have a final ruling on that. Okay, great. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Thanks for competing in the CTF. We had a great time. 
Uh, again, like Bryce said, really sorry about the confusion. We will make that very clear for next time about. This mic. Okay, is that better? All right, cool, there we go. All right, okay, thanks for competing everybody. Um, yeah, we'll make sure we have the details clarified next time about uh, groups or not groups. But we do have some winners. Let's see if I can pull them up. Okay, so uh, in first place with 11,000 points, Nervox. <laughs> Woo! And uh, are we gonna make them take the prizes in order or can they just pick whatever one they want? Yeah, you can just pick whatever prize you want. Awesome. Congratulations. Um, in second place, we had Hacker House. Anybody? Nope. Got to be here to win, so. <laughs> All right. Okay. Second place, you didn't win. In second place, for real, we had uh, Who A Day. There he is. Yeah. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, and then I guess next we had a uh, mini matrix. Oh, you're okay. Nope, we didn't. We had Scotty. Anybody? Scotty? No. You guys got to stay through the closing ceremonies. You get cool prizes. Uh, Melandro. Yeah. All right. We got a winner. Okay. And. Um, the last announcement here, uh, so, so we did have a few people that competed as teams. Um, so the Utah SEC team um, crushed it. They got twice as many points as the first place winner because they were all working together as a team. Good job, you guys. Um, and then we had uh, this group over here uh, very specifically beat DC 435. So good job, team. Yeah. Good job. Okay, and that's all we got. Anything else? How, how big are those teams? Uh, this team had... Five, six, and the Utah SEC team, is anybody here from that team? I think they all left. They had maybe 10, 10-ish, okay. 10, 10 or 11. Did, did they got six? some stuff. Oh, they did. Yep, we, okay, we took care of them. So. All right, great. Yep, okay, thanks everybody. All right, thank you Chandler and Kevin uh, Lustig. They, they put a lot of effort in the CTF and thanks for everyone participating. We'll uh, work on some process improvements there for next year. Okay, so um, we were trying to look for whoever did the coolest modification to the badge. Um, Marv, did we come to a winner on this? The badge winner is Aaron Haymore. Is he here? Okay, great. Oh yeah, you wanna come up and show? Yeah, that'd be great. So, the first thing I did, come to the mic. The first thing I did to my badge was I obviously had to add more LEDs, because you can never have enough LEDs. And then, I don't know if you can see it, probably not, but I put a little slideshow of Rick and Morty, so it goes through just a bunch of the different characters over and over and over, so. That's awesome. Put that together in one day. Okay, so we got the social media challenge. Okay, prize is here. Okay, uh, okay, conf sent it to me, great. I don't know who this is, okay. Is it the McDoane one, Com? Yeah. Okay, okay, great, okay. Woo! 
MC Dwayne, appreciate, appreciate you pushing out some cool stuff on social media. So appreciate, look, pre appreciate it. Everything's like kind of a volunteer thing here. So really appreciate everybody, you know, pitching in and helping to, um, you know, advertise and tell your friends about it. So um, yeah, so it's a, it's a big effort on all the volunteers and all the committee. Okay, so um, we picked out some names that have checked in. And if you're here, you can come up and pick a book. Um, so the first one is going to be Eric I, or R. OK. Jonathan Payne. OK, great. Uh, Paul Whiting. Chris Cousin. Jonathan Hefner. Zach Hades. Boyd Matson. Ethan Perry. Katie Whitley. Ron Carter, or Ryan, Ryan Carter, sorry. Sorry if I butchered your names, Bruce. Um, any of those individuals here still? Okay, great. Appreciate No Starch donating the books. Um, so, yeah, so. Um, With that being said, just want to reiterate, 801 Party, if you want to come downtown, they got pizza and soda. And um, that's, that's really all I have for you today. Um, so thank, thank you all for coming out. Can't, couldn't do this without the sponsors, couldn't do this without the community, and each one of you being participants. So thank, thank you, everyone. Appreciate your time. Woo!